anaphylaxis in early years. We're going to be looking at expectations for setting staff, the definition of anaphylaxis, how to recognize it and action to be taken, and how to use an auto-injector. Changes to the Human Medicines Regulations of 2012, enacted on the 1st of October 2017. Mandates childcare communities to establish and maintain an anaphylaxis policy. It's intended to educate childcare communities and prevent anaphylactic incidents. It does not create allergen-free settings. Anaphylaxis policy requirements, strategies to reduce the risks of exposure, a communication plan, regular training, individual emergency plan, request information from the parents, and maintain a file for each anaphylactic child. Required for the individual plan, the type of allergy, monitoring, avoidance strategies, and appropriate treatment. Individualized and readily accessible emergency procedure with emergency contact information and the storage of an epinephrine auto injector. No action for damages shall be instituted respecting any act done in good faith or for neglect or default in good faith in response to an anaphylactic reaction unless the damages are a result of gross negligence. Expectations for setting staff. Know your emergency plan. A copy of the plan should be in your day planner. No location of emergency medication and how to administer the epinephrine auto injector. There should be written consent to administer the auto injector which is required. In case of emergency, if written consent is not yet received, the auto injector can be given to the pupil it is prescribed to. Key recommendations epinephrine is the first line medication. Antihistamines and asthma medication must not be used for anaphylaxis. After receiving epinephrine, the person must go to hospital and the used auto injector goes with them. A second dose can be given 5 to 15 minutes after the first dose if symptoms have not improved or they return. Expect that you, as key worker, will be required to administer the auto injector. What is anaphylaxis? Severe systemic allergic reaction whereby the immune system overreacts. It can cause death. Requires immediate action. In other words, give the auto injector and dial emergency medical services, either 999 or 112. The triggers most common, foods, milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, seafoods such as fish and crustaceans and shellfish, Mustard, sulfates, yolk, soya, sesame wheat, and some fruits. Also insect stings. Other potential triggers, medications, latex, exercise-induced or unknown or idiopathic anaphylaxis. Common symptoms. Face, itchiness, redness, swelling of the face or tongue, metallic taste in the mouth. Airway. Trouble breathing, swallowing or speaking. Stomach, pain, vomiting, diarrhea. In total, a rash, itchiness, swelling, weakness, paleness, a sense of doom, loss of consciousness, bladder cramps. The characteristics of symptoms. The symptoms do not appear in any order. They may appear immediately or hours after contact with the allergen. Since it may vary or become more severe with each exposure to the allergen. These can also be symptoms of other conditions. If they appear in a person diagnosed with anaphylaxis after potential exposure, act. Action Identify the individual. Get the person to the ground where they are. If experiencing breathing problems, keep in an upright position. If dizzy or fainting, place a person on their back with legs raised above the heart level. If vomiting, place them on their side with the head down. If it's getting worse, but consciousness and not vomiting, place them on their back. Send someone for the auto injectors. Have someone else sell for a 999 or 112. 
inject the auto injector and record the time. Remain with the child. If breathing improves, lay the child down, cover them, tilt the head back and elevate the feet. Have someone else notify the emergency contact. And be prepared to give a second dose in 5 to 15 minutes if the reaction continues, progresses or returns. What else? Well, if there's any doubt, give the auto-injector to the child for whom it is prescribed. The used auto-injector goes to the hospital. Dosage is weight-related, so make sure you get the right auto-injector for the right child. For example, with the EpiPen, the junior has a green, uh, the junior has a green label. In other words, it can be used on children weighing between 15 to 30 kilo, and the adult has a yellow label for use on 30 kilo and over. Questions and answers. Can I use an expired auto injector? The companies cannot recommend the use of expired auto injectors. However, if it's all that is available and the medication is not discolored, use it. Encourage the parents to register on the EpiPen UK for reminders of expiration. Uh, you can also log in on the JexPen website and the Emirate Pen website. Where should an auto injector be kept? Auto injectors must be accessible but out of reach of children. Now follows a demonstration. Use the EpiPen trainers available in your anaphylaxis in schools and other settings. Further edition revised resource kit to practice. The EpiPen. Remove the EpiPen from its carrier tube. Hold the pen with the orange tip pointing down. Remove the blue safety cap. So think blue sky, orange thigh. Swing and push the orange tip into the mid outer thigh until you hear a click. Hold for a count of three seconds. You'll know it's activated because the window is obscured or shaded and the orange cover is now extended over the needle. An EpiPen that's activated will not fit back into its case. It will go through one layer of clothing. To reset the trainer, put the blue safety cap on first, place the orange tip on a hard surface, pinch the orange sides and press down. So the two separate EpiPen administration procedure, blue sky, orange thigh. Hold firmly with the orange tip pointing downward. Remove the blue safety kit by pulling it straight up. Do not bend or twist. Swing and push the orange tip firmly to the mid outer thigh until you hear a click. Hold on the thigh for three seconds. Key points to remember. You do not need to contact parents for consent to give the auto-injector to the individual it is prescribed for. Ensure that you use the correct person's auto-injector. The dose is based on weight. And do not put your thumb on either the end of the EpiPen auto-injector, JexPen auto-injector or Emirate pen. <laughs>